Hello everybody and welcome back to the Minecraft SMP. It's been a busy week for me. I've been grinding out villagers. I've been mining a lot of blocks and I have done a lot of grinding. All so that we could build this. Ah, oh, yes. Oh, it's so beautiful. It's so beautiful, man. If you guys didn't see the stream that we built this on, be sure to follow Chris the Red at Speak of the Devil <laughs> on twitch.tv forward slash Chris the Red one. The link will be down in this in down in the description. I know how to speak. I'm sorry. I just woke up. I we just built this literally last night, where it took us six hours to build this guy with everything prepared already and just the schematic and everything but it was all worth it all we need to do now is fill the shop we have to fill the shop put the book in there this is a copy we have two little shops here and i'll go everything with you guys in a moment but i want to show you the main attraction because i can't wait <gasps> Look at this shop, dude. It's gorgeous on every angle. I can't, I can't not look at it. I just always want to be in here. It's beautiful. It's so beautiful. Oh, so, all right. Let, let me take you through this week. Let, let me take you guys through this week. It started with just casually wanting to build a shop we built it in creative first and we finished it so on i believe it was saturday or sunday i grinded out the night to get all the blocks for this and that was one night that was easy that was simple and stuff but the rest of the week has been for stock and the stock that i've been working on specifically was getting all of the enchanted books which is difficult but we've got most of them most of them our zombies our villagers died to a zombie at one point which was sad so we had to restart there and now now we're here it was really it really wasn't anything to show it really wasn't and i'm sorry i didn't show more of it i guess i could have but you guys have seen trading with villagers it's really nothing special so let me take you through this area so at first we decided on the iron golem with sunglasses because duh <laughs> it looks dope as hell and then i um and then i was like oh man it needs to be floating on something it can't just be standing on water and chris agreed and so after a few trials we, we were like oh maybe we could do a boat maybe we could do a, a raft we decided on a lily pad and oh boy am I glad we went with that because it matches so well with the moss that grows on it and everything. And so after that, it was just the interior. And so the interior, Chris came up with the layout. He came up with the walking, getting pushed up the bubble vader and you have to walk through our top sellers. You have to walk through either of these rows to see everything and you have to walk through what this will be is the weekly sale where we put things on a very big deal once a week and they're probably gonna sell out quick because I, when i say deal i mean like a diamond for something you know like a diamond for a stack of bone blocks a diamond for maybe even a beacon who knows and then you you fall down here Whee! and then when you land here you see two other shops oh what could these be you know because this shop this shop is just just items and stuff well what's this shop over here the, the hut club wow you're supposed to read this book first when you come in through here let's read it welcome to the sunglass hut where you can buy almost anything your heart desires we can't make someone fall in love with you we can't bring the dead alive but we can offer great deals on products you need from life-saving totems to efficient beacons the sunglass hut offers what no other shop can at an unbeatable price 
Each item for sale has its price on the container that it is in. This shop runs on the honor system. Simply replace what you buy with diamonds required. If you buy out the stock, please let us know. To access the shop, simply go up the bubble vader. To exit the shop, fall down the west arm behind the weekly sales. To access other products and services, be sure to check out our other sho amazing shops, the Hut Club and Trash Services. We have weekly sales at the Sunglass Hut, so be sure to come by often to get a chance at the sale. If you have a coupon, just replace what the spe specified item was with the coupon slip. Thank you for visiting the Sunglass Hut, where prices are so bright you need shades. Oh, I love that book. It took me forever to write it. I am not a writer. I simply, I simply am not. But all oh, the little details in the roof and ah, oh, the candles. Oh, I sh ah, the f oh, and what makes this place? This place would not feel the same if it weren't for those, for those flowers. I love it so much. The spore blossoms are so good. And so, what does the Hut Club do? You may be asking. Welcome to the Hut Club where we do what Sunglass Hut doesn't. We will take your biggest orders and fill them out to perfection. We will do anything from netherite to shulkers of items. If you're interested in this service, then check out the MC Trading Hall chat to discuss prices and orders. In Discord, we have a uh, separate chat just for trading and everything, so I figured we'd utilize that. This shop will make the biggest of projects seem small. Thank you for your patronage. And then here, we have trash services. This w this one was my idea, was the uh, trash can with the lid open and then the little trash bags. Oh, I thought it was hilarious. Welcome to trash services, where we dispose of all your garbage. We cater to even the laziest of players by playing the game for them. With this amazing service, the worst of tasks can be done. Each order is carefully handled and disposed of in a way that suits our clients' needs. Examples, digging holes, farming materials, doing redstone, de detailing builds, lighting up caves, moving animals, and many more. If you're interested in this service, then leave a detailed description of what you are wanting done in a signed book and quill down below. Each service will price will be negotiated and agreed upon before the request is accepted. Any and all excess materials gathered during service completion will be kept by the Sunglass Hut staff. Thank you so much for shopping at Sunglass Hut, where one player's trash is our treasure. Sincerely, the Sunglass Hut. Ah, oh, I love it! I love it! I cannot believe how much I love this shop. It's so, it's so good. It is so good. So Seth, how do you top a finished shop when completing the episode. Well, you, you really don't. <laughs> you, you really, you really do not. But what we are going to do is we are going to stock it. And this is why you got to catch the streams, guys. You got to catch the stream so that you can watch all the grindy work like this be done. You got to... You know, you gotta be, you gotta be on, you gotta have the notifications on, and you gotta, you gotta follow, and you gotta make sure that you, you're there, man. So, Chris the Red one on Twitch.tv, and Ice Cream Swagger on Twitch.tv. Be sure to check us out. So, today, we can't really do the books, because we don't have the ones that are missing. This one's Soul Speed 3. This one is, uh, Efficiency 5. This one is, uh, I forget which one this one is. Um, you know, we, 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 we're missing some books. But the one book I do want to work on is the Soul Speed 3. So what does that mean? That means we're making a gold farm. This is really close. This is a little too, so, back up there. Sorry, sorry about that. We're making a gold farm. So let's get to it tweet you know i was flying over to stop interrupting me i was flying over to where we're gonna build this gold farm and i just i was thinking about it i think i'll just do a stream highlights video of us building that shop because it was a really fun time and i'd really hate to take the youtube audience away from that uh journey or journey that sounds pretentious that experience ah uh, the bone the button valley 
It worked. Oh, God, I still... Ugh. But the reason why we're building it here is because the spawn rates, I believe, will be boosted just a tiny bit uh, by the buttons below. So, I, I already got the bedrock broken up here, and I got the portal set up, even though I don't use the portal. I just kind of did it here for reasons. And I got a big ladder going up to nowhere. So... Let's get ready to build this thing here. Players, right? Moment. Here it is. Well, nuggets in the item filter way. Order to go that. Um, which I think goes like and then there, that, that, and that. Like this here. how big I want it, but... Nice. It's here. sleep last night yeah. <laughs> so um eggs the turtle eggs so they want to go and crush them this one's gonna stick well thanks for the vote of fucking cop i don't know let's go talk about it no how did they die right back hold your brother's hand sweetie a rat for the whole prison. But if I die, I'll... It's done! The first tile of the gold farm is done! It's beautiful. Absolutely amazing. I'm going to AFK this for a while and get some stock up for the shop. Yes. Oh, yes. There's a little bit of loss because of not having enough hoppers. But that's fine. That's fine. See, it's like, it's, it's a few, few times. Yeah, I need to get some more hoppers. And then I'll AFK this because I need to surround it a little bit more. But... Because of the buttons down below, the rates are absolutely insane. So, I haven't been feeling too good lately. So, I, I took a day off from recording and a day off from um, doing pretty much anything that involves responsibilities. And I made a squid farm. I made a not only a glow squid farm, as you see down here, but I also made a regular squid farm and the glow squid farm is kind of slow you know the axolotls die occasionally so there's nothing to kill them and it, it is what it is but what I did not expect is how quick this squ regular squid farm is and when I mean quick I mean I need to use an auto shulker system just to keep up with it and even then, the hoppers are overflowing. So, yeah, yeah, this has been up for one day. One day. I, I started building this, like, the day after the clip of the one-tile gold farm. And, and it's... 
Yeah, uh, I think we have enough ink sacs to last us basically the entire season, even when this overflows. Um, especially when this overflows, which I'm pretty sure if I were to scaffold my way up here, we will see it, yeah, overflowing. Uh-huh, look, it's over an ink sac there. Oh, yeah, mm-hmm, yep. I mean, shoot, man. Wait, did it break? Is the shulker not getting replaced? Oh, no, it's just not full yet. That's weird. The reason I decided to do this was, A, because I needed something to do while I was sitting at home feeling sick as hell, and B, because I am working in the creative world to build a more efficient gold farm that is going to be 128 cubed. Uh, yeah, it's going to be a monster. It is definitely going to be a monster. Uh, more monstrous than this. So, we're going to need to build a few auto shulkers in that farm when I do get it up and designed. And this lad right here has been busy. This lad has been very busy. This guy... ...made that. <laughs> this is an iron golem farm that does 16 golems per spawn. And when I tell you that it's been working, oh, it's it's been working. We have another auto shulker sorter down here. Putting all the iron ingots into boxes, and then we take it, put them over here, and craft them into blocks. Shulkers of blocks of iron is at our fingertips because of Chris. This is, this is insane. This is an insane farm. I, I just hope my gold farm can compete. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> but anyway, I'm sorry that this episode has been such a talkative episode. It's really been um, a really grindy week for me. So there hasn't been a lot to show other than the end products and talking about it. So I'm so sorry for that. But the next video should be a completely collaboration based video where I and maybe even Chris take Ian a very bulk order and we get the dragon egg which is one of the invest uh, the advancements that I've been missing because Ian says that you have to walk the 200,000 blocks away that he is in order to get hold of the dragon egg so if you guys want to see that video, be sure to hit the subscribe button and the little bell so you get notified of when it comes out. Also, be sure to check out everybody in the links down below. We got Ian who streams. We also got Chris over there working so hard that streams as well. And then we got Nexus who also streams. I'm, I'm really the only YouTuber here. So if you guys do want to see more, be sure to like the video and hit the subscribe button and all that fun junk. Again, I'm so sorry that this was a talkative video. But until next time, remember to stay hydrated and stay cool.